Okay, out of the B section now, a lot of really nice string bending going on. So we're starting with the third finger, 10th fret of the second string, tone bend, release and back up again. Then bend, release, ninth fret, 10th fret, bend. Second time, very similar, 10th fret, tone bend and then release like a little dip back up. Then another bend and release, ninth fret, bend, dip, hold, and then there's another dip later on. So just let me play that first part. So two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, trip, let one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, trip, let one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So that second part is just a tenth fret tone bend, ghost bend, and release. Two, three, four, and again. Two, three, four. Then ninth fret semitone bend, ghost bend again. Then ninth fret on the third string. 10th fret, 9th fret. Okay, that whole section one more time. 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, triple 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, triple 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, Three, four, one and two, three and four and one, two, three, four. Now I should note here as well that this is one of the parts that uh, is played with the slide guitar. So if you're playing the slide, the frets that you'll be playing will be instead of the bends. not a particularly hard slide guitar part. It's very difficult on this guitar because the action is really, really low. Okay, so let's have a look at guitar two's part now for the B section. So we're starting off with the third finger and the seventh fret of the second string. So it's exactly the same pattern. Okay, we're just playing it on slightly different notes. But remember, these two would go together. So it's important that the rhythm would be exactly uh, tight on as well. So third finger, seventh fret, second string. Tone bend with the dip. Then the seventh fret tone, release, fifth fret, then the tone bend on the seventh fret again. Same almost. It's just got that extra dip. Then same two ghost bends. Then seven, five, six on the third string, seven, five, that whole pattern, three, four, one. Two, three, four, triplet, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, triplet, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, and two, three, and four, and two, three, four. Okay, now at this point, guitar two would go back to doing the little eighth note chugging while guitar one would play slide guitar very high up the neck. Now, um, the action on this guitar is very, very low, which is great for a lot of things, but slide isn't one of the things. So I'm just gonna be playing these notes fretted. I'll show you what they are. If you wanna play it on slide, just get your, your slide right above the fret on these particular notes. So it's play 19th fret, 21st, 19, that's all on the thinner string, then over onto the second string, 19, 21, 2, 3, the first line, 19, 2, 3, 4, triplet, 1, 2, 3, 4, almost the same, 2, 3, 4, triplet, 1, and 2. Okay, so we're just finishing there, 
21 again on the thinner string, and then to the 19th fret. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four triplet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four triplet. One and two, three. Now we've got this little very interesting uh, part now. So it's 16th fret. This is back to being fretted again. Now I'm pretty sure anyway, it doesn't sound like slide to my ear. Um, we've got the 16th fret, second finger you probably want to use for this, semitone bend, release, 17th fret on the third string, and a tone bend. Very, very nice lick. Okay, it's triplets. Four triplet, one, two, three, four triplet, one, two, three. Last time there, oh, it's twice through that first uh, lick, and then 16th fret, semitone bend, 14th fret on the first string, 17th fret on the second, then 17, 16, 14, 16th fret on the third string. So that whole section after the very high slide guitar part. So it's another harmony one, so I'm going to be talking about guitar two in just a second. So we have uh, this, two, three, four triplet, one, 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 two, three, four. And the second guitar part, again, very, very similar. Now we're back at the 11th fret. Same pattern again, semitone uh, ghost bend, release, 12th fret with the third finger, tone bend. Same pattern again, and still the same, 11th fret semitone. First finger stretches back to 19th fret, uh, sorry, 9th fret. Third finger on the 12th fret. And it's slightly different here, it goes to the 10th fret, 9th fret, 11th fret on the 3rd string, to the 9th fret for the finish. So guitar 2 all of the way through for the, this harmonised section, which I'll call a C section. 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, triplet, 1. Now the very outro of the tune, guitar two, is going back to just chugging our eighth notes on the E and the F sharp, although the pattern is a little different. It's four bars of E, two of F sharp, then E, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, one bar of each of those things. So it's a little bit unusual form. Again, listen to the original recording, something that you definitely want to be doing, but just either write down or remember that. Four bars of E, then two of F sharp, then E, F sharp, E, F sharp, E. Okay, one bar of each one, except for the last one, which is just that one single solitary note E that's going to ring out. Now, the lead line for the outro is very, very similar. It's got all of that chord stuff, first of all, you know, all of this is the same. Then, all of this is the same still. Still the same. But now we're different. Last time, okay, so the very last time is a little bit unusual, but if you've been learning this song properly and you listen to the original recording, which you should be doing anyway, I'm hoping that you'll pick up how to play that last little bit of the melody, give you a little bit of work to do with your ears. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun playing this tune. It really, really is a perler. It's, it's kind of easy. You know, technically, it's got, you've got to have a bit of accuracy there with your string bending, but otherwise, it's not particularly difficult. The arrangement's not particularly hard. It's a lovely one to play as a duet. If you've got a friend that's learning guitar, to learn one part each is a real pleasure. Um, if you're really up for a challenge, you want to do it with a looper and play it by yourself, the thing that you either want to do is program up some drums or use a looper pedal with a metronome, because to keep that kind of tempo solid enough to play along with for a whole song is kind of fairly technically difficult. So I'd recommend putting a, a metronome on 
and record it into your looper while you're playing with the metronome so that you keep yourself in time. That would be a, a good way to do it as well. Or if you've got uh, facilities like GarageBand or Pro Tools, you can record in some, some uh, drums and uh, bass or whatever like I did and then play along with that. That's, that's good fun as well. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this tune. Remember, there will be thousands more lessons over on the website. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you dig what I do. See you for more very soon. Bye-bye.